miss a video from the Aesthetic Clinics and Dr. Devrat Shroma. Good day, everyone, wherever in the world you may be. My name is Debrat Shom, and I shall be presenting on a particular topic today. My topic is the use of intralesional bleomycin for periocular low flow vascular anomalies. We are in practice in India, and we have a chain of clinics all over India, with our headquarters being Mumbai. In general, head and neck vascular anomalies pose challenges. The estimated prevalence of the same is 4.5% depending on which literature you look at, the defined intervention is not clearly classified and therefore the management at this moment in time tend to, tends to include, include multiple modalities. The protocol for intralesional bleomycin sclerotherapy is that each vial of 15 units bleomycin is reconstituted with 2 ml of 0.9% normal saline. A total of 30 units in 4 ml is used per session. The reduction in size is typically noted after the fourth session and additional sessions are required as and when needed in larger lesions, the maximum being eight sessions. We did four sessions as a mean, four weeks apart, and the parameters evaluated were a reduction in size of the malformations, the pain response on a, as assessed on a vast scale, the number of sessions and the size reduction. This was a prospective interventional study conducted on 10 patients aged between 18 and 65, conducted between 2019 and 2021, and 30 units of bleomycin were given as intralesional sclerotherapy, 0.5 ml per side, approximately one centimeter apart on the lesion. That's how the injections were done. These are some patient photographs. This is a 28-year-old male who has been treated with the bleomycin. You can actually see how the vascular malformation looks like on a CT scan. And this was after the patient had been treated with the bleomycin. You can see how the arrow pointing to the major mass of the tumor appears substantially decreased after a few sessions of bleomycin. That's a lip hemangioma, which has been treated similarly. And you can see how that reduces over a period of time. This patient did really well after a couple of sessions, even after the after photograph, leading to significant amelioration of the, of the uh, vascular malformation. That's a lip hemangioma, a low flow AVM again, which has been treated with the bleomycin. In general, these are some of our results. And you can see that the majority involved about a half of the face involving the cheek, lip, and the eyelids, while a few involve the lower lips and the eyelid alone. And these were the types of lesions which were noted. Majority of them were low flow arteriovascular malformations. And that's how the size of the lesions decreased over a period of time. And you can see that this was a significant p-value. In general, this treatment did not have too many side effects. And the major side effects which were reported by patients were basically pigmentation and bruising and some transient pain. So in summary, we note that vascular malformations are about 60% of all body abnormalities and surgical intervention can have significant abnormalities. As these have an unexplained etiology and an uncertainty of treatment, we propose using bleomycin in these patients, which gives a good response and causes a sclerosing effect on the vascular endothelium, thereby causing an endothelial disruption and fibrosis, leading to a decrease in the size of the tumor. Even when we perform surgery in these patients, Obviously, some of these patients, you may go ahead and do a surgery, but the fact is the leaks can then manifest in various places, leading to the tumors coming back. And therefore, it's probably a good idea to do something non-surgical or minimally invasive, because this in turn means that this can be repeated without any side effects to the patient. These are our suggested doses, and this is how it ends up working. In conclusion, this seems to be a very safe and effective treatment option for extra oral head and neck vascular anomalies. This is an outpatient procedure, minimal side effects, and little or no adverse effects or recurrences. We thank you for your kind attention and a patient hearing. At this moment of COVID, which is all over the world, we could not be with you because we are from India. 
and we hope that all of you are safe and remain safe during these trying times. Thank you very much and hope to see you soon at a physical Congress.